competed in Dubai on the 18th, that last week. We had two professional bouts. Um, Avizo was my right. Avizo and Arsenba competed. Arsenba didn't win and Avizo won that fight. So brief on, mix, on uh, Matrix Fight Night. Matrix Fight Night is, a, is the premier mixed martial arts promotion in, South, in the South Asian region. Uh, a professional promotion is basically a promotion where you're a professional athlete. Which is Avizo and Arsenba when they compete, they're competing as professional athletes. They get paid. They get paid to fight. Their travel is taken care of. Their stay is taken care of. It is something that the Combat Academy, that Jim has been trying to achieve for the past eight years to build an ecosystem around martial arts where athletes can follow their passion, train, and also get financially rewarded. And I'm very proud that uh, Avizo and Arsene have been able to reach that point where they are no longer, they are working athletes, they are working professionals. They're not looking for handouts, they're professional athletes, they're getting paid to do their job. At a certain point, a professional company will hire you. A professional company will send you a contract. They will like your fights. It's like a resume. If you look at it, amateur competition is like a resume. You're building experience, but you're also building a resume where professional companies can look at you, can like your style, can like how you're playing, and then offer you a professional contract. And the moment you, you, you do a professional bout, you can no longer do amateur again. You're, 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 you become a professional athlete. So that's one way someone can transition from an amateur career into a professional one. So we had uh, four at professional athletes, but uh, Imkong is retired. So now we have uh, Abizo, Arsenba, and Kakini Tsongami. Mm -hmm. They haven't competed as yet. They have gotten their contract, but they haven't competed as yet. Yeah. Uh, three, uh, four as of now? Three. Uh, three. three as of now, three. and uh, they are also... Uh, Two more. Maridin and Sarita. Sarita. Also yeah. Um, uh, only, uh, Same, uh, Matrix Fight Night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Nitsu is from another. Yeah, Nitsu is from a different Kumite one. So it's a different company. Avizo's opponent was Indian, but then in, in, in on that show, on that card, so it's called card. Each, each event is called the card. On that card, uh, there were athletes from all over, from England, Egypt. Kyrgyzstan, uh, Brazil. Brazil, USA, so it was, it was an international event. Yeah. Uh, next fight will probably happen February, March. We, it hasn't been confirmed as yet. Again, uh, it happens, the offer comes from the company and then it's on the athlete to accept the offer or not. So that offer hasn't come as yet. And when it does, uh, it will be announced. Uh, it, it's one day event. The fight happens one day, but then uh, how this happens is you have fight week, so you go about three to four days, four days, four days before the fight. You you go to the hotel, you're staying, you stay in that thing, uh, and then you compete and you come back. Because uh, in professional MMA in, or professional combat, there's a, there's a concept called making weight, where Abizo fights at 65 kgs, but he doesn't. He's not. He walks around at 74. He's 74 kgs, but then you cut weight. Uh, on the day of the weigh-ins, you need to be 65. On the next day, he's 74. He goes back up. So it's, it's a concept of. Uh, cutting weight it's called where you you manipulate water weight in your body your body is made out of 70% water so you deplete the water you weigh in and the next day you drink water so Abizo goes up about 8 kgs so he goes down by 8 kgs and goes back up by 8 kgs in one day we are opening up a new branch uh, January next year it's it's a 10,000 square feet gym it's definitely one of the biggest gyms in India we're gonna have uh, a full uh, a cage in in the gym. We're also going to have a full-size boxing ring in the gym. So it'll also be one of the, if I'm not mistaken, it'll be the only gym in India that has both a cage and a boxing ring. Uh, Maridin Numai and Sarita, they've both uh, earned contracts to start fighting professionally with MFN and they will be competing very soon. Our hope is also for a bunch of others like Long Sukumba will start competing. Kekhenitsu Angami already has a contract he has a professional contract with a different promotion. Uh, it's called Kumite One League. So you all will be seeing him in action very soon. Again, uh, this has been a vision of eight years. We've been working on this. We've been working as amateur athletes. We've been building a resume. The goal was to become professional athletes and start getting paid to compete. Uh, as, so the Combat Academy is, is a normal gym. It's like any other gym. Uh, 
hobbyists, fitness enthusiasts, martial artists, anyone can join the gym. Uh, it's like a normal gym. What we do have with Combat Academy are sponsored athletes. We have athletes that the gym picks up, where training, training is uh, free for them. Uh, to the registration for tournaments are free. To wherever possible, the gym helps in travel, etc. Also, so th there are about, if I'm not mistaken, 13, 13 athletes that are sponsored by the gym at the moment. Sarita is one of them. Sarita is from uh, Maharashtra. She's come all the way from uh, Mumbai to train, to live in Nagaland and train in Nagaland. We also have a few athletes from Manipur and uh, also Meghalaya. 